Tommy, good morning. Uh, thank you for your time. Um, I'm not going to ask you about last Saturday's game because that's already out there on the video from your views after the game last week. It was quite a long press briefing afterwards. Um, but thinking about uh, the fitness of the squad since then, how's it been this last past week? Well, we've had a good week's training, um, albeit a little bit wet this morning. Um, but the lads have looked bright and breezy. Um, everybody returned to train in full in good health, so we, don't, we haven't lost anybody from the weekend. So we, as we as we go into Saturday, we. Uh, we're looking like we've got a clean bill of health, so that that's good. We've obviously got one more training session to do, um, but yeah, we're, we're right on on target for what we would, would like to be at this stage of the week. There's been talk about comings and goings, and in last week's post-match, you mentioned goalkeepers. Um, what's the thinking about that? There seems wider interest, the fact that we've gone from one keeper to kind of three. Well, it, it's an in-house decision, so it hasn't been broadcast across the world because it's it's something that's helping and improving us as a as a training group. From that point of view, we've got two young guys. We've got Sam Blair uh, on loan until January from Norwich, and we've got a young lad who I don't really want to name yet because it's nothing's signed. It's a, it's an agreement that he has with us, so it's it's something that improves our training situation. Um, of course, we've got Paul, so Paul's in the sticks. We've got two guys there who train with us. Um, Sam every day and Tom twice a week and in them two days that he comes in it just makes the goalkeeping situation a much better place it is a training environment and for the and for the players to be honest with you because um, on occasions we found we've only had one goalkeeper to train with if we haven't had an academy lad with us so it's uh, it's just a numbers thing really um, so not it's not us hiding anything or being secretive or anything like that it's just something that goes on at football clubs I've had one or two or 15 or 16 different other players that you'll never hear about, but they've trained here and we've decided either not to continue or they've decided it's not for them. So we're, it's a fluid thing. Our training group changes dramatically. Um, what, what I can say is we're hoping or we're positive in, in hoping that we might get one or two of our lads out on loan this week. Young Ben Siggers has gone to Wingate and Finchley and he played for them on Tuesday night, whereas they, they, they didn't win. The posit it was a positive report we got back from that. Um, and we're looking to possibly move one or two more out who haven't or aren't going to get in, uh, enough game time in their eyes, more than mine. I'd, I'd keep them around, but they, they've shown an interest to go out on loan. And I don't want players in and around the group if they don't want to be there. So from that point of view, there may be a little bit of news. And as soon as there is any news that needs to go public, trust me, I'll, I'll make it public. And the cup draw. Um, it was the, uh, the, the, the week of the first round proper coming in. Um, how do you feel about that one? Good, bad, indifferent? Um, well, listen, first and foremost, they're, they're a massive football club that's steeped in EFL history. Um, so we will undoubtedly be you know, heavily underdogs, quite rightly so. Uh, can we win the tie? Of course we can. <laughs> you know, Bedford and, and Blythe have shown you don't have to be at the same level as the team you're playing against to give you a game. So, you know, we'll have to be at our very, very top of our game and they'd have to be off. But at the end of the day, that's what the FA Cup's all around. The, the shoe is literally on the other foot now. But it's nice. I think it'll be a great, great experience for some of our lads, possibly for the first time, to go to a stadium like that. Hopefully they'll they'll entice or they'll encourage people to to come in and view their, their new management and their new you know, outlook and their new team. So... I'm really looking forward to it, but we've four games before then, so without being disrespectful to, to Doncaster Rovers, they are literally not in my eye line at the moment. Um, but we'll do exactly what we did with the, the three previous cup ties. We'll do our due diligence and we'll make sure that we know everything we can do about them um, and we'll go about it in the, in the best possible way to try and get ourselves into the hat for the next round. Um, you say about you know, other games in the way, first of all, we've got Saturday and Darlington and uh, a lot of people are making a lot of speculation about that at the moment. How do you see it? Well, it's the next opponent. So from my point of view, we've we come up with a, a strategy to try and first and foremost be in the game, secondly to win the game, thirdly not to lose the game. So that's, that's the way we've approached every game this season. They've had a great run of form themselves. Um, other than in the cup, like, but but I'm sure they'll take league wins over cup victories all day long. Um, listen, Alan's a bit like myself. He's had a great great career in, in the pro game, and he's doing ever so well as a, as a manager now at Darlington. So, I look around their their group and they're very experienced. I know a lot of their players. So from from that point of view, I'm expecting a really really good game uh, and tough game. Um, Again, I'd encourage people to come and have a look. Those that did come and watch us against Ashington, I hope went home really, really, you know, 
pleased with the result and and the, what was on offer on on the pitch. Um, and I can only see this being a, a really competitive and, and entertaining game. So we're really looking forward to it. It's what you want in football for, you know, the, the next couple of games. If you look at the last one, one to get us in the FA Cup first round proper. It's first against second on Saturday and then it'll be first or second against third on, on the Tuesday. So from that point of view, it's where we want to be. Um, it's it's why we're here and it's, it, we want to be as successful as we can. So every game we go into, we'd be looking to try and win the game. People think you've read the questions because my next question was, and then we host Banbury, who arguably on Friday, on Saturday at five o'clock could be a point adrift. Yeah, I mean, listen, Andy's done a fantastic job there after promotion already uh, being and staying as, as long as they have. I, I think lots of clubs that come up, and you can put Scarborough in there, you can put Jimmy at Peterborough Sports in there. There's always a bit of men, momentum when you've been promoted. You tend to keep a, a lot of your group together. You've got a winning mentality in your in your dressing room and in your club. Um, whereas we had the opposite thing and we've, we've done well to be there, haven't had the disappointment of being you know demoted to the division. So, look, we, we're w well aware of... Uh, uh, everybody's wanting to swap places with us and a couple of them are going to get a chance in the next week. It's up to us to try and stand our corner and, and, and maintain our our own form because, you know, we've got to f not forget, we've only lost one game in 15 ourselves. So the, the, the form is good, the fitness is good um, and the health, more importantly, at this time of year, you tend to find the odd strain of flu or, you know, colds and snivels and this, that and the other. But in, in physicality and, you know, Functionability, we're, we're in really good health, so uh, hopefully we'll, we'll, be, we'll show that on Saturday and again on Tuesday. Do you share those views and your thoughts of what you would be saying to those second and third place teams with the lads under you now? I don't look at positions in the table. I look at what they've done in the last few games. We look for trends in their, their positive attributes and obviously where we feel we may be able to attack them if there's a negative. But... Um, Listen, positions in tables matters to nobody at this stage of the season. You know, we, what are we? We're in the middle of October and it runs till the end of April, the, the season. So from that point of view, it's great to be, you know, the, the ones to be aimed at, if you like. But there's nobody in this division at this moment in time who wouldn't swap places with us. So, you know, like I said, we, we are where we want to be. Uh, we want to try to keep, keep rolling on both fronts. Um, and Darling know our next opponent. So, you know, we, we look forward to entertaining them or bringing them to the walks on Saturday and um, we'll see how, how we fare. Last question, uh, tomorrow night, Friday, we've got the meet the managers and coaches. Um, what do you hope to achieve with that? Um, I think it's just a little bit of candour, a bit of openness, honesty. Um, as long as the questions are <laughs> above the belt, then we'll answer them as honestly as we can. Um, all I want is them to ask me about football, you know, the football operation. That's I don't I don't mind what they ask me, but as long as it's about football, I won't be able to answer anything that doesn't come under my remit. So from that point of view, you know, how we how we went about when we came in this into the group, you know, which is getting on for ten months now, um, when we realised what was going to happen at the end of the season and how we sort of turned it round and planned for this season. I think that's the sort of crux of what, what I would like to, to be asked. I just think that's what I know. So, but uh, listen, we're, we're, we're approachable guys, you know, Mark, Hugo and myself, and Jamie Hedges is going to be there as well, who's our head of recruitment. So from that point of view, they can ask, what, they can ask away. If I can't answer them, I'm sure there'll be somebody in the room who can, or somebody will have an opinion anyway. Tommy, thank you very much. Yep.